Looking at the game Rose has been having. He's got 11 points, and he's also been picking up some nice assists here and there, too. Well, he's going to have to continue to play this way, Clark, because this offense thrives on his passing ability, and they've got it going right now. Harden and Ariza out on the perimeter. Smith out there with Terrence Jones, and it's Terry in the play. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you do it. Find a gap in the defense and attack that rim with four. He is so good at doing just that. Maybe as good as anybody. Just so athletic and strong. And you can feel the, the pattern of this game, guys. They're, they're working it inside, dominating in the paint, getting good shots at will. Well, four of their last five baskets, guys, have been of exactly that variety. The Bulls leading by five. Rose goes in. And Jones pulls it down. Jones has got four rebounds in this game. A reason or what? For Chicago, they've gone only one of five from the field since Hampton. Very slow start offensively. And the shot is good. Seems like guarding him on the perimeter is not a priority for this defense, but it will become one if he continues to knock them down. You know, he just hasn't looked right to me. A bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics, um, at least as I look at it. Here's Harden. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. James Harden with those rush hour handles. Whether it's breaking his man down in isolation or running the pick and roll, he keeps that thing on the string. And Harden, a left-hander. Defenders tend to have more trouble, it seems, guys, with softballs. Well, and especially with Harden because of how crafty he is. He's got that Manu Ginobili Euro move, the change of speed, change of direction, and then the strength. I mean, that's what separates him. He draws contact and seems to just go right through players. Now a timeout called by Houston. Last time these two teams came together was also in this building. They were able to win it for the home fans. And you look at the box score from that game, guys, and the first thing you notice is how many turnovers they forced. Yeah, and one thing the box score doesn't show is just how many points came as a direct result of those turnovers. There were a whole bunch of them. James Harden with the most famous beard in the NBA. In fact, he leaves his barber in charge of trimming it so you can give him all the credit, or maybe the blame, depending on how you look at it. And it's Rose penetrating off target at the rim. If he can improve on what's been a shaky day for him thus far, they can stretch this lead out. Harden kicks to Smith. Second shot opportunity. Joaquin Noah grabs the miss. Noah's got rebound number eight now on the night. There you go. There you go. And Harden, a relatively quiet team. There's something so moody, but clearly he's embraced his new leading role in his And he said as much himself. He looks at the Rockets as his team, and you can see it in his demeanor on the court. With that leadership comes responsibility, and I think he's ready to continue to step into that. Butler attacking from out on the wing. He knocks it down. Butler's got the lead up to 10 now for Chicago. Yeah, guys, it's his consistent shooting that's really helped get his team into the position they're in right now. Looked like there was a little confusion there as to who was supposed to be guarding him. Shot's good. 16 points for Derrick Rose. Pleasure to watch him work at that end of the floor. Harden's shot is off. Boy, I tell you what, the complexion of this game would be completely different if he'd shot the ball anything like he's capable of. Stolen by Harden. Terry, that's a two. Not gonna go as it bounces high off the rim. Would have been lucky to knock that shot down. Yeah, that kind of shot will definitely get you the high brows from the coach and maybe get you a seat on the bench, too. Rose goes in. Noah. And there's 
the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Well, it's funny, Clark. Some people thought that Joe King Noah was considered a bust when drafted by Chicago. Very premature assessment of that young man. I tell you, you talk about having to eat crow for those who felt that mm -hmm. way. I'm a two time NCAA champion, Noah has now rightly become revered as the heartbeat of this scrappy Bulls team, an all NBA, an all star, and also an all NBA defensive player as well. Well, Noah has that boisterous, playful personality. I think his quirks maybe threw people off early on, but. He's a wonderful teammate. He's unselfish. And I think more than anything, you know, his, his unguarded personality has sort of helped him connect with his teammates. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Howard's checked in for Jones. Brewer comes in for Trevor Ariza. And it's Pablo Prehioni in for Jason Terry. Here's Harden. It's blocked. The drive by Brooks. Wide open shot is on the money. And the Bulls lead by 12. And for Noah, who is really gregarious and outgoing off the court, getting between those lines and his intense competitiveness becomes apparent. I mean, he's locked in and all business. Fierce, fierce competitive, laser focused on winning. He's not worried about making a few enemies in the process. A little over eager right there. Left his feet too early. And if you're already boxed out, you got to try to work to get around. Otherwise, it's a surefire foul. For Houston, they have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. How Gasol's checked in for Chicago. He's a dead eye at the line, fellas. Just call him automatic. He doesn't miss many of those. Seven second difference. Shot being block. And Harden with the stuff. Really hard to decide, guys, which was better. The pass, catch, or the slam. Clark, there's no wrong answer to that one, my friend. <laughs> Sensational alley hoop all the way around. Agree, agree. <laughs> all of the above. On the wing, Brewer. And he finishes it off with a one handed jam. Nothing fancy there. Didn't need it. Nope. His only concern right now, Clark, is getting the points on the board, and I don't mean style. <laughs> I like the simplicity. Uh, but there was some style there, Kev. It was a, a pretty sweet one. And that's it for the third quarter. Both teams scoring well as we head to the fourth. Bulls out front, up six. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Rockets trailed by six. On the court for the Bulls, getting this fourth quarter started. Gibson is the four with Gasol in the middle. Heinrich is up there with Brooks. And it's Miritich in at the three spot. And here we go with the Bulls. Fast break. And Heinrich gets it to go down on the assist for Miritich. Yeah, he put himself in great position to finish that break off, guys. Yep, right to the rack. And Brooks, here we go. From the arc. Heinrich outside. Miracic dishes to Heinrich. No luck. Rockets shoot 33% for the night. That's a big thorn in their side right now. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. Yeah, he's been brilliant here today, guys. And same story last time out. Chicago making some changes. And ladies check in for Miritich. Butler comes in for Kirk Heinrich. And it's Rose in for Aaron Brooks. Rose kicks to Gibson. From 15 feet away, misses off the left eye. Here's Harden. And there's the pass to Prehioni. Power dishes to Harden. The nine-foot shot. Good, he hits the jump shot. Well, he's clearly feeling it, Clark, coming off that fantastic game last time out. Rose uses the glass to finish the layup. That's pretty much been the norm for them, getting their points off assist and great ball movement. Nice rhythm and flow for this team. Tremendous communication and alertness. Oh, my goodness. Wow, and that sort of showman 
championship is just oh, 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 oh. Talk about putting something extra on. That dunk was way over the top. Close team or not, Clark, you know, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Still, I mean, it's startling that he'd even try that right now. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Thanks, Kevin. Tom Thibodeau had some words for his team in that last huddle. Go. He was absolutely adamant, saying, don't let them off the hook. Let's keep our foot on the pedal and keep doing the things that have gotten us here this far. We're almost home. And in a virtual free look at a three-point shot, the defense completely lost him there. Go. And the Bulls with another Go. miss. Go. Go. Well, they'll Go. give him that Go. shot. He doesn't have the most of the wide oh. shot in the world. You know that. That's a big boy dunk right there. Grown man sledgehammer dunk. That was a violent attack on the rim. Oh, man, was it ever. Rose passes to Butler. Rose attacking. And nothing is falling for him right now. There you go. Rose oh. up high. Deflects the pass. And stolen by Butler. Rose. Kicks to Dunleavy. From outside, off the mark. That was not a simple rebound. He made it look easy, but he did a good job in bodying up his man. Harden dishes to Jones. Hangs from the corner. No good. And the Bulls going the other way now. Here's Butler. And he banks in the way. 132 up in the fourth quarter. Butler again, Harden. Jones in the post. Who's back up? And there's a whistle that's going to go on James Harden. That'll be his second foul of the game. For Chicago, they've gone four of ten here in the final period. Not the time to go for. And Jones sends it back. And out of bounds is Chicago game's possession. Oh, that certainly could be costly. In a close one, those kinds of mistakes can really give the other team momentum. Here's Rose. Pulled loose. Go. And here comes Harden, leading the fast break. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. What a performance from Harden. 22 points. He's got nine points from behind the arc. Yeah, that's been an important part of this game too. He's made his open look. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. I tell you what, this is the white hot version of Derrick Rose right now. Harden has a wide open look. Again, the miss by Harden. Chicago's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And Butler, here we go. It's in! Ooh, a fresher basket right there. Now that's coming through in the clutch. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Offensive rebound. Kicks it out to Harden. He dishes it to Terry. It's good! And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer! Before you there, Kevin, they're going crazy to talk about some happy people, man. These fans are fired up. Butler attacking. <laughs> now a timeout called by Houston. Pulling it out for the W. 